Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Seven Days of Skeptic. Last time, we woke up to fa find that the ship had come to a complete stop. We went to go see if we could uh, check out the problem. We found the body of our captain impaled upon the communication pylons. Not good. Anyway, now it's up to us for some reason to go uh, get the body back down, so let's go do that unpleasant job. And by the way, that little uh, locker has been opened up mysteriously. Don't know what that's about. So anyway, let's uh, go do the deed. Alright. And, uh... Don't forget to use your safety clip, of course. So yeah, this is uh, not going to be pleasant, but I guess somebody has to do it. Got to get his uh, body back in our hands so we can give it a proper burial when we get back, if we get back. Who knows? Okay, Dr. Sumset, do you read me? Do you require any assistance with removing the blockage? Uh, it seems not. Could you withdraw the mask for a second? Certainly. Serena, the captain's body isn't here anymore. What? It's gone. It must have gotten jarred off or something. And when the ship's at a standstill. Anyway, we'll worry about it later. Send the distress signal. It'll take a few minutes for... Serena. Serena, come in, please. Hell. Okay, something uh, went wrong in the communications room. But before we go there, we want to uh, actually head down here first. Yeah, this is actually my second recording, because I kept messing up things. And one thing I did is I completely forgot to come down here. Because you'll want to get this key ring. If not, you'll have to go through the whole seat procedure, uh, suiting procedure, and the whole uh, clipping procedure. Anyway, be very, very careful on this part. Okay, walk to the very edge and take a look at this. Can't get a good look over the edge while I'm attached to the safety rail. Alright, I'm going to save here. Because you can fall off on this part very easily. Alright, unclip yourself. Let's take a look. Looks like a key card on a ring cut on one of the components. Perhaps the captain dropped it. Alright, so use your clip on there. Now, if you're not on the very, very edge using your clip on that, you will die. Now, it's the card to Captain Charles' quarters, which must have gotten loose and then gotten caught on there. So, uh, attach yourself back to the safety rail, don't forget. Oh. Fine. Now we should go check on Serena. So, same thing. And part is kind of annoying that you have to do this every time, but at the same time, I can understand the reasoning for it. Alright, so, uh, switch. And this get changed back. We need to go up to the ops deck, like, right away, because something went on up there. To the elevator we go. I always want to go to the observation de deck instead of the ops deck. Alright, let's see. You okay, Serena? And she's not there. Dr. Somerset, have you seen Serena? I was just about to ask you that. I was talking to her with the communicator. And then she just cut off abruptly. How strange. The trouble is that the distress signal still needs to be sent. And only she and the captain knew the communication code. Oh, uh, right. Commander, aren't you concerned for Serena's well-being? 
Should I be? Seems far likely that she's simply gone to the toilet for something to eat. I'll go look for her. See if you can track down the captain's code book, too. Okay. So, uh, this is why you need the card, so you can get to the captain's quarters and get the code book. But let's talk a bit more with Angela first. Commander, Dr. Somerset. Uh, Barry's corpse has gone. Excellent. You were quickly, Doctor. No, I mean, it's gone and someone else moved it before I could. Are you sure? It could simply have fallen off the masts. Maybe. But it seems so strange. Counselor, please learn to apply logic more often. Jeez. It's got your panties in a bunch. So we ain't turned up yet? Regrettably not. Hmm. You mean the ten seconds since we've been standing here staring at each other? Thanks, Commander. Until later, Doctor. Alright, well, let's uh, get in here. And there's some stuff to look at, but he doesn't say anything exciting. He's like, it's the captain's desk, it's the captain's books, it's the captain's bathroom. That's pretty much it. But it does say something weird about the bed. You can tell this is the captain's bed. He gets brown sheets. Well, maybe the sheets were white when he first started out with them, but, uh, oh, never mind. Alright. Hope they have washing machines on this thing. So here's the code book. Got it. So let's uh, give that to Angela here. Is this what we need? Yes, that's the captain's code book. Find the communication authorization code and read it off. Here we go. 11772. Thank you. This is First Officer Angela Garrett of the EFS Mephistopheles. Attention all ships in the immediate vicinity. We are in urgent need of assistance. Over. Officer Garrett, this is Captain James Linderman of the EFS Charisma. What is the nature of your emergency? Over. Engines did by unknown means. Captain Barry Chaha has been murdered. All crew members currently suspects. Over. Acknowledged. We are five days travel from your current position. In the meantime, sit tight, boys and girls. Over and out. There. Soon we'll be picked up and this will all be behind us. Five days. We have to sit and wait for rescue for another five days. When there could be a psychotic killer on board. Previously, Doctor, we were going to sit and wait for rescue indefinitely with a psychotic killer on board. We should be grateful that events have improved, however marginally. Good point. Jan, Commander. I just saw the captain. You found his body? No, I saw him alive. He was down in the engineering decks. He was walking funny and his clothes were all covered in blood. Lieutenant, the captain is dead. We all know that. I'm telling you, I saw. I don't know. Are you absolutely sure you saw what you say you saw? I mean, it, there is absolutely no other explanation for what it was. I don't... I don't know. Probably. Counselor, perhaps you should escort the lieutenant back to his quarters. But I saw... Lieutenant, there is no logical explanation for your claim. You are obviously just tired or overstressed. Let's go, Adam. What was all that about, Adam? The captain is alive, John. Damn it, Adam, Barry is dead. I'm the one who found his body. Barry Jahal is dead, yes. But he isn't our captain anymore. What are you talking about? The ship has a new captain, John. Adam! gentlemen. The distress signal has sent. All we can do now is wait. Where's where Serena got to? I'm not sure. She did not come back to our quarters yesterday evening. Oh, God. It turns... It's going to turn out badly, isn't it? You have to remain optimistic. All very well just saying that. 
this saying that. Uh, sorry I'm late. Doctor, nice of you to join us. Uh, yes, uh, what were we talking about? Serena is missing. I was on an EVA, checking on the radar masts. I heard some odd noises over the comms, like the sound of a struggle. When I got back in, she was gone. Oh, really? Is anyone else seeing a sort of pattern emerging here? I beg your pardon? Well, far be it for me to raise this. But you were the one who found Barry's body. And now you have first-hand experience of Serena's encounter, too. Does anyone else think it's a bit coincidental? Now, oh, wait a minute. Oh, shut up, William. I got records of all the communications on board. They show with no doubt that John was outside when something happened to Serena. Oh. Oh. I'm so sorry, John. Forget it. I mean, I was totally out of line. I'll, uh, I'll get back to sickbay. Awkward. The doctor seems to be getting worse. It can only be a matter of time before he cracks. We just have to hope we can hold on for five more days. That seems mighty suspicious to me. Adam, please don't. I suggest we begin searching for Serena. There's still a chance she is perfectly all right. Oh. So now we are on Wednesday. Being this is called Seven Days of Skeptic, you can uh, kind of extrapolate that this will last till Sunday. If it can last that long, that is. That's a good time to save. Why can I not save in this room? <laughs> anyway, I don't think we can grab that. Serena? Oh, there's Serena. Now I'll save. Let us continue on. Let's see what the heck Serena's doing. She's been missing. And all of a sudden, there she is. Oh, and we want to go to the communal deck. That is actually not where I wanted to go. Not the communal deck. Um, the residence deck. There we go. Man, I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten for two days. Oh, let's, uh, that's, yeah, that's a clue of where you want to go. Let's go to the canteen. Let's sell some chow. I'll order a standard lunch. The hell? There's blood all over this tray. Um, what? Okay. Why is there blood all up in the food machine? Let's, uh, let's take a look at that. There's something lodged up here. I'll try to prize it out. Oh! What? It's a human hand. Freshly severed, I think. Serena. Um, that is not good. There's only one thing I can think of to do with this. We need to uh, get this to the doctor and see if he can't maybe get it scanned or something. See what happened. Who knows whose hand it is, really. Well, it's a white hand, so I'm going to assume that it's one of the two people that are missing. Right. Anyway, where is the uh, sick bay? Is it on the communal deck? Well, I think this is the sick bay. Okay. Let's see how uh, William's doing. Let's talk with him. William. Oh, hello, John. Is there something you want to say to me? Uh, yeah. I really apologize for how I've been lately, John. I've been going through some stress. I can understand that. We'll see no more about it. Have you gotten over your anxiety? Oh, yes, I'm, I'm absolutely fine now. No concerns at all? Well, just about Barry and Serena and all that. Yes, all that. Any ideas about what's going on? 
I'm probably as stumped as you are. Maybe more so. I mean, we haven't witnessed any of these weird things going on. Or I haven't. I'm still not completely sure of the situation. Well, if you come to tomorrow's meeting, you'll probably be filled in. Yes, I suppose so. Have you seen Serena lately? Not since yesterday morning. Are you worried about her? Aren't you? Yes, yes, of course. But we should remain optimistic. If you think so. I need your opinion on something. Anything. Oh, good. Where did you find that? Would you believe lodging the vending machine? What I don't get is why there wasn't a trail of blood leading up to it. This, this ship has self-cleaning walls, but they won't clean off every trace of dirt. If you used ultraviolet light, you'd be able to see traces of human body fluids. Hold on a sec. This might help with your investigations. An ultraviolet light emitter? Really appreciate this, Doctor. You'd better leave the hand with me. There's some tests I should run on it. Sure. I'd better go. See you around. So, luckily, he's going to take care of our little issue. But we have a UV light emitter. Let's go see if we can't uh, see the trail of blood. So, residence deck. Let's use the emitter right here. Seems to lead to the shaft. Oh, and it leads up to the next floor. So, uh, we're going to need to go up the floor. So I believe the uh, next floor is the communal deck. Okay, but we do need... Oh, no? Oh, the vent. There we go. Now we go over to the panel. Oh. Oh, sh**. That looks like Serena's badge. Serena? What the hell is going on? Not to Somerset. Thursday. Inside, please, Doctor. Come on, Commander, this isn't necessary. Do you really think so? Surely you must agree as an intelligent man you are the that the evidence seems to point to you. You seem to have been closely involved in the discovery of both bodies. That doesn't mean anything. I appreciate the link is flimsy. This is more of a precaution until the proper investigators arrive. Well, this is uh, not a good situation we're in. And it does seem Serena is dead, even though we saw her walk away. What is going on on the ship, and can we clear our name? You're just going to have to find out next time on Let's Play 7 Days a Skeptic. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.